All right, this is a review of the new KTC TDBRP6. They make another version of this set that has some picks in it. Uh, this set has all blades, flat, hex, and Phillips. This set is made in Taiwan. The case is pretty average, I would say maybe even a little bit below average. So the unique thing about this is the ratchet function. And the ratchet function, if you've watched my channel, you saw me review this product and I was really impressed and still am very impressed with this roll gear style ratchet on this. The, the ratchet doesn't have any teeth, it really doesn't ratchet. It's, it's like a clutch bearing. It's just very, very smooth. And KTC designed and built one into a micro screwdriver. Now the reason for this collar at the end is that these blades fit in here at different lengths all the way in it will not lock it so that it can be pulled out so the blade can be pulled out against the friction of this lock but it can't be pushed backwards okay I was very excited about this I really like this ratchet but on this tool this ratchet has a little bit more spinning friction than the hot set does. So not the same quality. Tightness and friction in the ratchet mechanism creates a disappointment. I got this tool and then I was replacing the battery in this old tablet. And I'll show you what the issue was. So this battery is already replaced. This is a third party non-Samsung battery for anybody that cares. It's already been replaced. It, the, lap, uh, the tablet works again. So I was trying to kind of figure out what's my preference. Is it this? Is it this? or is it going to be for this because of the ratchet? And what I found is that because the ratchet requires so much friction to actuate, see how it just, it loosens the screw and instead of ratcheting, it just tightens the screw back in and it should be spinning, okay? So I have the ratchet set to loosen the screw so I'm not making a mistake. See, it doesn't ratchet. So the problem is with, with very small fasteners, you have a very low amount of friction and the ratchet basically is no good. It doesn't do anything. I, I hate to say it. I really like the design. I like what they were doing. The PB Swiss is still my choice for this really tiny stuff. Still, the PB Swiss just can't beat it. Can't beat it. So the other thing too is the end cap. So on the PB Swiss, the end caps have a ball. So they spin on top of a small point and have very little friction and it's easy to spin even if you're pushing down on the cap. Well on the KTC because of the way that they designed this there's a lot of friction if you push down on it you get more friction. It's not bad I mean it's not awful but there's definitely more friction there the harder you push on that cap. I don't find that to be a hindrance to using the tool at all, but just a note of comparison. Um, as far as ergonomics go, 
you can see a difference. There's a kind of a fundamental design difference. PB Swiss puts their larger diameter closer to the cap. KTC has a smaller diameter closer to the cap. They have a large diameter with a good ribbed grip on here. And PB Swiss has a smaller diameter and the entire handle has that awesome PB Swiss Swiss grip compound on it. So this is hard plastic. It, it's not grippy, but it's not bad. And I would say that the KTC is going to be a little bit better in a, in a higher torque situation because this diameter is larger. And I tend to use the screwdrivers like this in the palm, like this. I don't use my micro screwdrivers like this. So I'm using it like this or like this. And I like the ergonomics of the KTC. It's not bad at all. Um, and like I said, for when I, if I need a little more torque on something, this larger diameter is going to be a little bit nicer, probably, than the PB Swiss smaller diameter. Although the PB Swiss, you can kind of, you can kind of grab the handle here with with these fingers. So, just subtle differences. Now this item here is an adapter and I'll put links in the description that goes from quarter inch hex to the four millimeter. And I used that in the hot set with the double zero as a comparison on the screws. So let's just take a look at that. I need to set that to, so, even as free spinning as the hot set is, even it will not ratchet on these micro screws. So it is a very difficult task to design a ratchet that works on these very, very tiny screws. Okay, so let's just look at the blades quickly. We've got the double zero, single zero, number one Phillips, then we've got a hex 1.3, a hex 0.7 millimeter, the KTC logo and the part number, laser etched on there, and then we have the three different sizes of flat blade, 2.52 and a 1.5 millimeter width on the flat, then two more hex 0.9 and 1.6 hex. So those are the blades that come with this kit. And there is another kit that has some picks in it and some other things. So the standard screwdriver, micro driver, still the best option for this use case. So that is my review of the new KTC ratcheting micro driver. Thank you for watching.